So guys, today I want to show you how you can um, hook up your computer to your old CRT TV. So a lot of modern TV offers you to, um, well, just connect your computer via HDMI or VGA. But this one, or all of CRTs pretty much, I haven't seen any CRTs with like VGA. I, I, I think there's some out there, but I have no idea. I've never seen one of these. And uh, especially not this one from 1991, which has got only composite and scarred. So, a lot of people say it's not possible to connect uh, a computer to a TV like this, but that is not true. I mean, that can actually be useful, even though it won't look very pretty and the resolution won't be too good. You can still use this for a lot of stuff, like if you want to hook up a, a computer like as a home theater or an Apple TV or something like that. Uh, and you wanna, you know, you don't wanna like spend money on a new TV, which I can completely understand. I'm one of these guys. <laughs> I always just wanna mirror like something on the screen or whatever you wanna do. With that it's not hard to do. You will just need a little gadget and uh, it's like a bat here. Uh, no, it's no idea if you can see that or any kind of. This is a well. Let me just get behind the camera there. Uh, this is a little VGA converter. Uh, VGA to video converter. There are a lot of out there, uh, some with HDMI or DVI or VGA as this one is. I just need VGA. This costs me only twenty dollars, uh, twenty euros. Uh, it's about a little more than twenty dollars, I believe, or even less. I have no idea about calculating the, the currencies. Well, um, it comes with a lot of cables, but uh, the only ones you will actually need is. The VGA cable that comes with it, this is not the one that came with it, just one random one. And the composite video cable, that is looking like this on both ends. Let's see, like this. This has actually got a lot of nice stuff. Here's the VGA in and the VGA out, so you can actually use this to uh, connect it to another VGA, so we can maybe make it longer or something like that, don't know, really know. S-Video out, and the composite, which is the most important one. And here you got a little menu for this thing and the zoom and adjustment, which I don't really need to do in this one, but uh, on a lot of I've seen is that uh, uh, the picture is kind of off and you can adjust it with this one. So uh, it's not hard to uh, get this set up. Uh, it will actually need a power source. It comes with a USB cable. It doesn't need a lot of power. I've tried it without power, but it just doesn't work. So you need a power. Um, it comes with this one, the cable is over there, and uh, I hope I did focus, I'm never too sure on this iPhone camera, um, okay, so, uh, all you will need to do is, uh, connect the cable, the, the USB power cable to, to the converter, and, um, uh, Connect the composite video cable to the converter and to the uh, video in port or composite video in on your CRT. You can actually, if you have got uh, a converter to f from the standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to this composite audio or this audio. You can actually have audio as well, which will be again very nice if you've got home theater or something like that, or uh, um, S, like uh, an Apple TV or something like that, or a computer that can play audio to this. In my case, I don't really need that, but it is possible. So the last thing you will do, connect your VGA cable to your computer, which I've already done. And finally, you do a VGA uh, in, and that is like this. It's already changed the resolution here. Now all you need to do is turn on the TV, which is now this has that thing that needs to be turned off completely that it turns on again. And let me just do there we go. And if we're lucky, we got a little stuff like this. So, yep. Yeah. Now, all we need to do is... Oh, we already found the source. That is great. So, if you did if that didn't work for you like this, you just need to uh, look around and uh, find the channel 
or the source for the, the computer. But this did actually work very nicely. Let me just get this a little down. So you can see a little more. So uh, this is set, I believe, to 800 by 600 resolution. A lot of stuff is not readable, even though this is the, 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 the biggest resolution. Uh, that is kind of understandable. Uh, I just want to demonstrate you that little thing that you can adjust the, the, the pictures. You can see this is now moving to the right and now to the left, but this is already perfect on that TV, so yeah, that is okay. But it works, as you can see. And uh, now we can do what you can do with uh, that. Don't try uh, setting the resolution any higher if it already looks like this. Because if it, for example, let me just do 1360 by 768, for example, that's believe the highest it can manage. Yeah, then look at this. <laughs> it's, it's almost unreadable. It, you can actually guess what's there, so uh, this is completely useless. Um, if, uh, for example, if you set it to a too high resolution, stuff like this is going to happen. Uh, or nothing is going to be shown at all, or it's just some weird lines, but mine is making the crazy effect there. So I'll just go back to HR by 600, which is the, the perfect one to, to use it on. Uh, or 1024 by 768 works as well. But the, 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 the lower the bigger uh, the picture on the, on the TV. So I'll just now, for demonstration, open up this game, which probably won't work with that taskbar, yeah, I guessed it. And, uh, let it boot up there. So that is one thing I, uh, I use that for. To, well, play some games on my TV without needing a console. <laughs> um, which is very nice because I can lay in bed and play that game. So let me just drive around a little bit. Uh, one thing you're gonna notice though is that uh, that even though I'm sitting very close to the screen, I, it's looking very very bad. But if you move back, it, it won't be that bad. I tell you that this is uh, actually shocked me at first how bad this picture is when you go very close. Uh, and again, that really depends on the quality of your TV. If yours is old like this or just worn out like this is. Uh, then it's no wonder, but if you got like an HD CRT, that will look actually very nice. But uh, on this one, it's very worn out and you know old. So you can use it for do things like this, or watch movies, or just do something else. You need to mirror your screen. So let me just exit that there. Yes. Oh, it crashed. Awesome. Probably the resolution. Well, there you go. That's how to hook up. Um, random computer or just the ordinary computer to a CRT TV and it doesn't really matter which age uh, as long as it has got the composite in so if you've got if it's got the composite in chances that you're gonna get a picture are very very good so yeah I hope you found this useful and uh, have luck doing this so I'll see you in the next video